Okay, we're live. Yes. Good morning, everybody. Uh, random time to stream, but I really wanted to check out Redfall. This is the only time we'll be able to stream it today because I want to play loads of it and hopefully make a review or an impressions video either today or tomorrow. So we're going to play some Redfall. I've already played like 30 minutes of it, and so far it is okay. Uh, obviously, I saw the Metacritic. Don't know uh, how the game is going to pan out, but as of right now, after like 30 minutes, the game is okay it's a game that is literally right up my alley uh it's a four player co-op shooter open world you know kind of think of like borderlands or uh i don't know something even as recent as dead island or dying light them sort of games are right up my alley so hopefully it like works out and i actually really enjoy the game I never want the game to fail. Uh, there, there's a lot of people out there that do seem to want games to fail. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm not one of them. I am here to test out if I will like the game. So, the only issue I'm having so far with it, main issue, is that the game... I don't know, the game doesn't really... It runs pretty badly. Uh, so... For anybody wondering, I have a... I just need to get rid of some crap here. I need to move some windows around. So, for anybody wondering, I have like a Ryzen 5800, whatever, something. And then I've a... I, so, it's like a 3 point something gigahertz quad core. I don't know. It's a, it's a decent processor. And the graphics card is a Radeon 6600 XT, which is like... Of, it's an old-ish graphics card, but it should be able to run a game like this pretty okay. And then I have 32 gigs of RAM, so the RAM won't be an issue. So I dropped everything to low to see how it would run. And it didn't really change anything, which was annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything on medium. I'm going to put on FSR, and we'll keep it on quality mode. That's what I'm going to do. Now, obviously, I'm streaming off the same PC, so that's going to have a certain effect on things. Now, uh, for the person that is watching, let me know if my keyboard is too loud. I do have a very clicky keyboard. I've never actually streamed a game on my PC that I've played with a keyboard. So if it's too loud, I will move over to controller. Uh, I really don't know what it sounds like. I mean, I could find out quite easily. Let me actually see. So I'm talking. I'll get I'll get it up on my phone here so I can hear. So I'm talking, I'm talking, and I'm click clacking away on the keyboard. So... Okay, so it's pretty loud. Why why has the screen gone black? Why has the screen gone black? I do not know. Uh, I, I, I don't understand why the screen has gone black. Okay. I think it has potentially sorted itself. I think the issue here... Sorry, let me sort this out. Is that I have some keybinds on that are fecking everything up. Yes, there we go. Okay. That should have everything sorted now. Yeah. Okay. This, th these are just the... Just the things you have to get sorted out when you're st streaming on a new PC thingamajig. Okay, so now we're in the game. So I'm playing everything on medium with FSR on quality mode. Now, Once this game the fray. doesn't look good enough for it to warrant me needing to have fancy graphics or a fancy computer now i have heard that games like this that do co-op are very cpu limited especially this kind of seamless co-op but i'm not like an absolute i'm not an absolute like master when it comes to technical stuff so i could be completely speaking out of my arse with that one. so i have a lot of weapons here to sell which i will sell and it's weird because for completing the first quest, you get an orange gun, and I don't know if orange is the the uh, the top weapon that you can get, but this is a pretty fancy weapon that I have here, and you get that for completing the first quest, which I think can diminish a lot, like just from a game design standpoint, can diminish a lot of a uh, sort of the reward of like waiting until you find your first weapon. So, one thing I will say about this game is that. 
Uh, I do like that the graphics are stylized. It still has that sort of... Now, again, this is running on medium settings, so there's going to be certain technical stuff that are pretty uh, pretty rough. But it, it still... Now, and here you can see the game is dropping frames like nobody's business. What is going on here? Why is the screen black again? This... I, I don't I don't understand what's going on here. Am I running this game at like a weird a weird resolution? Is it because I turned on FSR? Now the screen is black. Okay, I, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, excuse me while I try to fix this. Is it because I turned on FSR? What happens if I put it into 1440p? But does that fix anything? Okay, well, the game is a lot sharper now, but now it's just running at an awful frame rate, so... I won't be able to play it. Ah, uh, okay, I think I see the issue. It's streaming in 1080p. Or it's streaming in 1440p. So I need to, uh, do some... Some fixing here. Uh, hmm. Let me see. I think I know what I have to do. So we get rid of that display capture. And then what we do is we go... Uh... Window capture. And then what we do is, we choose Redfall. And now if I do this video, turn this back down to 1080p because I can't run this game at 1440p. And then, okay, okay, we're almost there. Once again, apologies for all this. And then we have display, no, not display capture 2, that's not what we need. Window capture. I, I really do not know what's going on here. Again, apologies. Why is that black? Why isn't this working? I don't know. I really have absolutely no clue what's going on. Okay, so maybe the, the window capture isn't, isn't the play. Display capture. Okay. Let us see here now. Okay, well, the game is running at literally about four frames a second, which is good. Okay, now, I'm see, I'm running it at 1440p, but I don't want to run it at 1440p. I want to run it at 1080p. And let's see, will that fix it? No, it still, it still has this weird border around that, and I don't know why. It's obviously something to do with the resolution. Settings. Video. Output. Stream. We're streaming at 1080p, so why... Why does it look like that? That's kind of annoying me. Well, what I can, I can literally just do that and just... Just kind of mess it up there, I guess. I think that that will probably just fix it there. It's because it keeps, like, having to change resolution. Yeah. I think that should be a fixed. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so, finally, apologies for that, we're in Redfall. Hopefully the game can hold a relatively consistent frame rate. Because it seriously struggles. It's also doing this weird thing now, which, am I on full screen or is am I on borderless? I'm on full screen, so why is this happen happening? This, this shouldn't be happening. Because basically now, so I have two monitors here. So what it should do is lock to this screen. Okay, there we go. There, it's now locked to the screen. Because my mouse cursor was still moving on to my second monitor. Again, I'm a bit of a PC, PC noob because uh, it's been a while since I properly gamed on a PC. Okay, well this seems to, well it is dropping frames. But it's a lot more smooth than it was earlier. So yeah. I basically did the first mission, and now we're out in Redfall for the first time. And it's cool because there are two different factions that you fight so far. There's the cultists, which are basically just like your typical, like what would you say, like your typical raider kind of kind of like clan. And then you have the vampires. And vampires uh, live in the dark, which is pretty self-explanatory. But also, uh, if you deal, like, fire damage to them, it deals a lot more damage. And then you have to, like, stake them. Like, kill them with a stake before they, like, start to regenerate their health. Which I think is pretty cool. So far, the story is... 
basically vampires took over this place, Redfall, in somewhere. I don't know, somewhere in the US. I don't know if Redfall's even a real place. It might be. But uh, I'm going to take a guess. I forget where they said, but I'm pretty sure it's like east, the east coast somewhere. And, uh... Because it looks pretty east coast here. I could be speaking out of my arse, but... Ah, Alex, good morning. It's a uh, random time to stream, and I just sorted out a lot of technical stuff there. But, uh, good morning. This is the only time I'll be able to stream this game. Basically, I'm, I'm trying to play, like... Oh, a baby doll. That's a bit creepy. Uh, I'm trying to play a lot of hours of this game and kind of make a video. And this is going to be the time when I'm going to be able to play it the most. I won't really be able to play it tonight, so I won't be able to stream it later. So, I just thought I'd get the stream in now. Uh, sometimes these morning streams, uh, a few people show up to them, so... I mean, I don't really mind. Okay. So, now, what we have to do is, there was... When you come out with a main base, after the first mission, a big feckin' helicopter flies, and then there's two helicopter crash sites that you have to visit. So, this is, like, very clearly set up like a... You know... Typical open world. Well, like, it is open world because it is a massive map. Well, it's actually not that big a map. The map is relatively small, which I, I'd like. Uh, because I don't think you need to have a, a massive map to make a game fun. And I think Dead Island proves that. It is going to be interesting to see how this game stacks up against Dead Island. Because, obviously, they're doing slightly different things. But at the end of the day, they are co-op action RPGs that are seem to be a lot more linear than you think. The f Dead Island is linear. I wouldn't even consider Dead Island open world. It has like a few zones that you can go through. But Dead Island is nowhere near open world. This is kind of more open, but they're still going for similar stuff. And I heard on a review that like, you know, this game is a 12, 15 hour long game, which is exactly what Dead Island was. And uh, just from this first 40 minutes, uh, it feels like Dead Island is going to be the, the way better game. So, I did watch a review of this game this morning. And it was Mr. Matty Plays, who is a, a reviewer I listen to quite a lot. And they were saying that the AI is absolutely brain dead. And the AI certainly isn't great. So far, I'm not sure if I'd go as, as far to say completely brain dead. I've seen worse AI. But, you know, that could, uh, that could change quite quickly. Uh, especially because it's it's definitely not great, and I've literally only started it. So yeah, and then I just can't seem to get a consistent frame rate, even on low graphics. Which, again, I'm not a technical person, but I feel like I should be able to run this game. Grave locks are scattered around Redfall, hidden caches, hard to reach places. There, but okay, cool. I don't really care. Okay, I'll just hack this crate. So basically, it seems to be there's like... Ooh, nice. Purple. Basically, there's you get uh, lockpicks, and then you get crate. or And then you get like hacking things that you can use to open shit. So uh, that seems to be the only two things. And there's no lockpick or hacking minigame. You just do it, which I'm pretty thankful for. I wouldn't say I'm a massive fan of that stuff. So the story seems to be pretty bare bones already. It's like very quick and just gets you straight into the action, which I do appreciate. A lot of the story, though, seems to be delivered through notes, which I'm not sure if that really works in a, in a co-op game. If, like, that's what they're going for. I'm not sure if you would... If, if that's, like, the best way to do this, because, I mean, if you're playing with your friends, you're really going to sit down and read a load of notes. Like when I stream, I can't even focus on anything. So how the fuck you supposed to how the fuck you supposed to play with your friends? So I think I don't know. I think this game was made pre. Uh, I think it was started pre acquisition, Microsoft acquisition. But like, you know, obviously I can't say how good or bad this game is. But what I can say is that it's definitely. It definitely isn't an arcane quality game. I mean, I think even Deathloop, I, I dislike Deathloop quite a lot. Be the reason why I disliked it mostly was because I was very disappointed in the game because of how good it was. They, how, because of how good the rest of arcane games are. I mean, like, Dishonored is... Dishonored 1 is... 
I, I, I don't actually know exactly where it would be in my favorite games of all time. It's definitely in the top 20. I don't know if it would make it into the top 10. Obviously, lists, them sort of lists change depending on the day. But, like, it's definitely in my top 20. And then I've never beaten Prey, but I do love Prey. Prey is a very good game. Uh, I think I will go back to Prey now because I want to play an actual arcane game. And... I just don't think we'll ever really see another arcane game, which is very sad because, I mean, I think the problem with arcane was they released really high quality games, like stupidly high, like Dishonored 1 is, oh, I just, I absolutely adore that game, but they never sold well. They got good critical reception and so did Deathloop, even though I think Deathloop is their worst game. Uh, by a country mile. I mean, the jury is still out on this game. I haven't played enough to, to say, but uh, that loop was definitely the worst game of theirs that I played. And it was just more disappointing than anything because I know what Arcane are capable of. And I have a feeling that given a couple of hours playing this game, I will render the same verdict because... So far, this game isn't inspiring much. Oh, look. Our first interaction with vampires. Okay, so vampires are weak to fire damage. So you can do this. And then you can set them on fire. And then when you get them, like, into a... Kind of like a down state. I'll see if this will happen here. So, firstly, they regenerate health, which is cool. But you can stake them. And then they drop whatever the effect that is. I actually don't know. I think it might just be ammo or something. Oh, good morning, Mark. Things are going good here. I'm playing this potentially hard game, but we will have to wait and see. Uh, as I was saying, I was just kind of... I'm not too inspired. There's not much inspiring me about this game. Like, okay, let's okay, let's test out the AI. Because this was... This was the main thing that people were, were complaining about. Now, the AI is pretty bad so far. Also, aim down sights on the pistol is awful. I, I don't see any reason why I would aim down sights because... Uh, now, I'm going to miss a few shots here, but like I struggle with the aim down sights a lot. But just shooting from the hip is so much easier, you know? Helpful, that. But I am. I'm keeping an open mind. Because I do I do want to like this game. As I said at the start, this game is right up my alley. Like, you can't make a more me game. Firstly, it's made by Arcane, who are one of my favorite developers. Secondly, it's a co-op, like, looter shooter, I guess. Borderlands, Dead Island, Dying Light. So, it has all the right recipes for me to like it. And also, I definitely have a tendency to like games that other people don't like. What do we have in here? Okay, wait, crap, where am I going? That's a safe house. Okay, cool, I'll unlock this safe house. Power on to fast travel. Okay. So this is uh, basically a fast travel point. I assume, like, maybe some vendors will pick in, or... Can I go in here? Hack. Okay, cool. So... There does seem to be somewhat of... So if anybody's played an arc... Uh, I'm only pushing me. If anybody's played an arcane game, so they're very... Uh, like, what would you say? E everything, everything in an arcane game is... You know, there's three or four different ways to do it. Firstly, their level design is top-notch. Like, almost unparalleled in... Specifically, Dishonored 1... And then, from what I've played of Dishonored 2 and Prey, it's very good. Uh, so then, they kind of give you this freedom in all of their games. So here's my first ability that I unlocked. It's like this weird electrical javelin thing. So, uh, they really, like, let you do what you want in the levels. And Deathloop, at the start, felt like that. But then you quickly realize, playing Deathloop, that it was, like false choice like it didn't actually matter in the end of the day and so far they seem to be doing something similar uh in this game where it's you can climb to a roof you can 
uh, hack a door to get in, or you can go guns blazing. But so far, out of like the three things I've done, it's all been the same. It's been... You can hack a door, you can lock pick a door, or you can go through the roof. And they're like the three things that you can do. Uh, it's not letting me press escape. Okay, there we go. We got a safe house. I don't really care, to be honest. Devinda Crowsley calling in. Safe house is... Safe. Safe house missions. Bellwether operatives have set up a secure station to call down supply drops nearby, locate their station, take them out, and call in a supply drop. Okay, cool. Can I buy medical supplies? No. Okay, so the, I thought maybe there'd be like vendors in these uh, in these safe houses, but maybe there might be in the future. But so far as well with the gunplay, the gunplay feels good. What are you? I watched, as I said, I watched Mr. Maddie's review. He said the gunplay was really bad. Now, it might get worse, but so far the gunplay is, like, pretty decent. I wouldn't go as far to say that it's, like, really bad, but I also wouldn't go as far to say that it's very good. Because kind of like a lackluster game like this can be carried a lot if, if the gunplay is good. I mean, that's what carried Destiny for a long time. No, I don't think... I don't think Arcane will be able to rival Bungie in gunplay on pretty much their first... Well, actually, Deathloop, even though this is Arcane Austin. So I think Arcane Austin made this. They're the people that made Prey. And then Arcane Leon in France made Dishonored and Deathloop. But obviously, like, I'm sure they, they have a lot of, you know, use the same technology, have the same engines, you know, all this stuff. So this isn't their first shooter. So I have to go find anybody they want. Okay, well. There we go. This happened earlier. One of the enemies just got caught in a loop on a rock. Okay, well. That's uh, riveting. Oh. Uh, I really don't I just I don't know. I was very disappointing when uh, when games come out like this, especially as I said because it's from Arcane. But obviously, see, this is the problem. This is why I really prefer to have games that like. This is why it's really good to review games pre-release because obviously going into this now, like I, you have a certain like a. a you know, you, you already have thoughts going in because of what you've seen. And, like, it's impossible to completely stay away from it, you know? Like, even even if I didn't watch Mr. Maddie Play's review this morning, I would have, uh... I still seen, like, the stuff all over Twitter, you know? Was it Noisy Pixel that accidentally uploaded a review early? So, like, you already kind of have an idea of what the game's going to be like. Well, judging by one reviewer. So, and in general, most reviewers are, like roughly on the same page because they did play the same game in most cases but like i mean this has been quite this has been already quite like a a varied year when it comes to releases because like firstly I mean, the first one that pops to mind is Forsa For Forsaken, Forspoken, which is like, that game's fine. Like, oh, I enjoyed it. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say it was anything more than like a six and a half or a seven out of ten. But like, that game was fine, but uh, obviously didn't, didn't blow anybody away. And then you have stuff like Dead Space Remake and Resident Evil 4 Remake and Dead Island 2, which was a massive surprise that are like really good. And then... Yeah, Metroid Prime Remastered, which kind of came out of nowhere and was way better than... Like, was way more of a remake than a lot of people had expected. And then, like, what other games that came out this year? Uh, hmm. Minecraft Legends, that was another one. That's like a, That was a big surprise. I'm really enjoying that game. I'm playing through it on my PlayStation. 
That's a very fun game. It's kind of real-time strategy, kind of Pikmin kind of game. Uh, but then you have this. And... Yeah, it's pretty pretty shameful. And then you have also Jedi Fallen Order, which... Or Jedi Survivor. I keep calling it Fallen Order. But, like, you have that game, which is... Like, fun. A very fun. And I'm just so disappointed that the game doesn't run very well, and that's why I can't play it. So, like, if that game just ran better... Which, apparently they released a PC patch, and the PC patch has, like, improved it a lot. And that patch is coming to console soon enough. So hopefully after that I'll be able to play it because I was really enjoying what I was playing by the frame rate issues. So if the frame rate issues get fixed then, you know, life will be good and I'll be able to play uh, Jedi Survivor finally. And, uh, yeah, and but like, the only issue is, I so I have Jedi Survivor there. And that game's like, I think by all accounts, like a 15, 20 hour game at the, no, no, I think, yeah, I think it's like a 15, 20 hour game, which is fine. But Tears of the Kingdom is out in 10 days. So even if that game gets fixed in like the next week, I'm really, really going to struggle to finish it before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Because I know once Tears of the Kingdom comes out, absolutely everything else is going to drop. There's just no like... No urgency with the combat in this game, you know? It's just very laid back. It feels um, it feels like like a Far Cry game without the the Far Cry. I don't know. I know a lot of people don't like Far Cry, but Far Cry does have like a certain kind of like fun. Fa oh, a UV beam. Far Cry does have like a certain fun factor to it that is like very switch your brain off fun, but still very fun. Whereas this game doesn't feel like it has that right now. So uh, we shall, we shall see. Okay, I have this fucking thing now. This cool weapon. So we'll have to see what uh, what we can actually do with this because I don't know what it is. Oh, I have translocator. Okay, so I'm like sombra now. Let's get moving. Okay, so we throw that over there. Let me translocate it. Cool. Oh, cool. And then I can go back to it. Okay, that's a cool ability. I actually haven't looked really at the skill tree. What does the skill tree look like? Uh, do I have a skill point? I do. So they're just like health and increased ammo. So they're kind of the boring ones. Receive more support from salvaging gear. More... Receive more support. What the feck is support? That's a weird way to say that. Uh, trans okay, toss trans okay, okay, we have that. You and your allies are trans okay, heal over time. Okay, that's pretty good. When trans okay enemies, when you trans okay enemies near the trans okay, you can swap places with you. Trans okay recharges faster. Okay. None of them really, I mean, the health one, I'm not sure if I really want to use that trans okay that much. So we're actually going to uh, increase the javelin, I think. And if we go into the map, I want to see what like these are like, like, like what is, what is that nightclub? Use the bell water. Okay, so we'll actually do that. So we'll travel here and we'll do that mission. See what we have here. What's what's going on? Okay, well that's that's a weird fast travel animation. He literally just picks up the the map and looks at it. So is anybody watching? Is anybody interested in this game? Obviously it's on Game Pass. That's where I'm playing. I'm playing on Game Pass PC, which I did get free off Keymailer. I think I might have to state that. So I am playing this game for free. Restock. Wait, that's how much it costs? To restock all my ammo? That's pretty, uh, pretty crap. That's a lot, actually. I only have 5,000 and it costs like a fifth of it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this mission, this one here, the communications laser one. Capture a neighborhood, complete the first safe house mission. Okay, so then that's gonna complete two missions for me, which is good. So I want to test out this new weapon. We'll see what it, what what it's like. But oh, that must only work on vampires, maybe. 
And like, I can only imagine... Now, apparently on Xbox, on Series X and Series S, this game does... Well, no, I won't say that. I'm not sure about the Series S. Definitely on the Series X, I have heard that this game runs well. Which is obviously always a positive. But... Uh, it's, four, it's 4K 60 on the Series X. And it's apparently a very solid 4K... Or 4, 4K 30, not 60. But I don't know how I would feel about playing a... What does this do? Does this do anything to them? No, I kind of just stuns them, okay. Translocator! Ooh! Ooh! Heal! Oh crap, press the wrong button. I kind of wish... I just don't know what it would be like playing this game in 60 or 30 FPS. I just don't think you can do it anymore. Oh, vampire! Okay, well, frame rate is tanking. So what does this do to them? Oh, like, petrified. Oh, and then I can just... Oh, that's cool. Okay, I like that. One thing I will say about the gunplay... So, I wouldn't say that it's bad. But I also probably wouldn't say that it's... Go well, I'm not sure if good. I, I put it, like, right down the middle. And I think it's because, like, the feeling of the guns over anything else. So, the pistol... Like, the, the pistol feels pretty decent. Uh, let me whip out the shotgun here. The shotgun is, like, fine, but I have this sniper rifle, and it literally feels like I'm shooting a pea shooter. So, it's a bit like of a mixed bag. I also like the weapon designs. I mean, this, this gun's pretty cool. It has, like, barnacles on it or something like that. So, this gun's pretty good. I mean, that pistol looks fine. The the uh, the model of it's pretty nice. And then, I think the weapons just look better because they have that sort of arcane almost... Wait, why am I going here? Feck. I wasn't looking where I was going. Back this way. It has that sort of arcane, like, watercolor kind of... Is that what you call it? Or oil painting, maybe? I don't know, really know what you call the aesthetic. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. It's very difficult... Since, like, like obviously my, like... For anybody that doesn't know... Like, my channel is obviously... I, I do try to find the phone in games... I generally want to say positive. Obviously, if a game really is that bad, I will obviously say it. But even, like, in the really bad games, I do try to find the good parts. Like, as we joke about me and Watch Dogs Legions, that game does have a lot wrong with it. Like, I can see why people don't, like, wouldn't like that game or wouldn't enjoy playing it. But there is a fun factor to that game that you can... You can get if you look for... Like, if, if, you, if you play it a certain way. So, like, I'm always looking to find that in a game. And this game is... Honestly, I find these games even harder to... To, like, find the fun in. And it's not because the game is bad. Because so far, I don't think this game is... Oh, there we go. There, the, the game just literally dropped about five frames a second there. But so far, I don't think this game is absolutely off. Like, it works pretty okay, I think. Uh, the AI is a bit wonky, but the Deathloop AI was wonky as well. So, to be honest, I, was expe I wasn't expecting the AI to be very good. So, the AI is definitely wonky. And it works. But it's, like, it's so... Right down the middle so far after, like, the first hour. That, like, it just doesn't inspire anything in me. Which is the worst way I think a game can be. Translocating. I'm also, like, messing up my button presses. See, unfortunately, I don't really play games like this on the PC all that much. So, trying to press X, Z, and V, and all that all at the same time is kind of confusing. I just find that, that button placement pretty weird. Well, I just died. So, yeah, it's just, like, it's so, on. Um, it's so, just okay that it's almost not really fun so like my plan today was and i will do this i'm gonna play i want to play at least five hours of the game to kind of get a feel for it and then maybe make a video but uh i was kind of hoping what would happen is that like after the first couple of hours i'd be like wow i'm actually really enjoying this game because as i said this game is right up my alley but judging off these first hours i do believe i will play this game for as little as I can for me to feel comfortable making a video giving my impressions. 
and then put it down and never play it again. That's what I think is going to happen here. Because <clears throat> one thing one thing that I was hoping would happen is that Arcane are really good at making interesting worlds. So like the whole world of Dishonored was fascinating with kind of like the whale oil and the rat plague and just that combined with the aesthetic just made it feel real dirty and like lived in and also very interesting to explore. So what I was hoping and even I will admit I didn't like Deathloop that much but that wasn't the part of Deathloop that I disliked because the overall aesthetic and world of Deathloop was very good. And Prey is also has a very fascinating world and then mimic enemies are just weird. So creepy that they can literally transform into anything. So what I was hoping here was I would find a switch your brain off game like Dead Island, Dying Light that I would like. But then the thing that would keep me coming back is that the world is fun to explore and also interesting. Like as in the backstory and all that it, like is interesting. But so far what I found is a world that I have no interest in exploring. Oh, uh, okay, so, okay, so this is like the, the op from, uh, CSGO. This sniper feels a lot better than the other sniper. Oh, that enemy just spawned in. Fair enough. Whatever, whatever floats his boat. Okay, that, that sniper feels like a good bit better than the one I used earlier. But still not great, though. Still doesn't feel... Still doesn't feel really, really powerful, like, for a gun like this. Okay, do I have to, like, defend my position here? Should I be, like, getting myself set up, or... There also seems to be maybe, like, a crafting system. You do pick up a lot of stuff. Okay, wait, I, I don't understand what, what's, what's happening here. Missions. Collect the bell weather. Oh, shit. I had to keep my eye on this guy. And I missed it. Oh, so there's one. Can I ping that now? And it'll stay on it? Potentially. Okay, well, there's one anyway. It said two, I think. I can't see the second one. But maybe the second one might drop after the first. Okay, so I think that... That's empty now, yeah. I thought maybe the, the thing just despawned, but no. Uh, so I assume it's on top of that church then, maybe? And then it also just doesn't help that I just can't get the game running at a consistent frame rate. Again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold that against the game too much because I really don't know much about uh, enough about PC gaming to, to kind of add that in as a critique. I can obviously say that that I am not having a fun experience. It's obviously it's obviously making my experience worse because oh, there's the, the other supply drops miles off. It's obviously making my experience worse because I'm not I don't have a steady frame rate. But you know that that doesn't hold true for everybody. You can't like say that for certain that everybody will have that issue but it wouldn't surprise me if everybody did because i've heard some other people having bad experiences with pc performance but also i think this game has the nuvo on it or the novo whatever you pronounce it that uh what you call it the the like drm stuff and apparently that that like uh affects up your performance quite a bit but that's why people hate it I think it also got, like... Didn't that get wrapped up in some scandal at some point back in the day? Pretty sure the Nuvo was, like... One of them, like, selling your information or... Taking information that it shouldn't have been or something like that. If I remember correctly. We got a vampire. Okay, vampire. That was a... Uh, that was... Thrilling combat. Oh. It's over then. Yeah, there's the supply drop. There's this, like, red mist everywhere, and there's these, like, weird creatures sitting in them, and I don't really know what the creatures do. Uh, I don't know if I need to, like, melee them, maybe, or... Oh! 
I do have to melee them. Okay. But that's good because now I know because I have one of those UV light generator things. So I should be able to like destroy a lot of them. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I got some, some good loot there. I got a G. That's like a G36C, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. I like the look of that. Okay, so there's one supply drop. See, the only issue is, like, I'm in this area. It's like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to explore this. You know, I'm in this little, this cool little, I don't know, what is this? Like a country club or something like that? Like, if this was any other arcane game, I'd want to run around and find stuff. But I just don't feel like I want to do that. You know? Okay, so where's the next supply drop? It's over here. Can I, there's nowhere I can fast travel. To. Can I, like, translocate myself all the way over there? How far can I throw this thing? Skipping ahead. Oh no, I just missed it. Okay. Well, that's good. You still get a good distance on it though. Oh, I have a stake on this weapon. So, uh, when you have to kill the vampires with stakes, it's like a bayonet on your weapon. And uh, some weapons have it and others don't. So, like my shotgun here has it. The Grim Tide. But my pistol doesn't. This doesn't either. But I'm actually going to see. What, like, what happens if I... Does this do anything? Can I just, like, punch that? No, okay. Run! Okay, so the UV light doesn't actually do anything to that, which is weird. Unless I have to do, like, a concentrated beam on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I wonder, do I have to... I don't really know what them souls are either, but I wonder... I assume this is like one of the open world objectives is to get rid of all of these red bits. I really wonder if red falls a real place. Okay, the range on this isn't as good as I thought. But I think I'll do that as much as I can just so we can make the world e more easy to explore. Thought that was like a light showing me something though. It's a fucking lamppost off in the distance. Okay, where's this uh where's this yoke? Can't actually see it. I can't get around. I, I can't see where the where the little feckin' and yoke is that's causing it. But I want to get rid of it. I can. Oh look at that! Oh, cool! They're fighting each other. Oh, that's you. Let's get a good look. What are you? You look like a fancy vampire. Oh, I'm getting caught in a tree here. Okay, that's good. Okay, this, ah. Uh, this gun doesn't feel very good. It's like there's no, like, no movement on it whatsoever. Is that vampire gonna come back and try to kill me? Yeah, this fucking gun feels awful. Oh, a siphon. Oh, shit. I'm dead. Oh, okay. That was a pretty cool enemy. I completed the, uh... The... Mission, at least. Once you do that... You've eliminated almost every threat in this part of town. Now destroy the vampire underboss. Okay. You can, have anything we find. can I speak to these? No. See, 
So, I, I... Oh, lost and found. Can I buy this? I can. What are you? A lockpick. We'll buy a lockpick. Oh, I can buy multiple lockpicks. Then I'll buy a rewire kit as well. I may as well buy a few of them then. Just keep them with me. But I also could probably do with selling some crap. But I don't know if there is a vendor here. No, there isn't. So, let's go and fight the first underboss. Because... I, I think this is the whole point of this game is you are going around the areas liberating a safe safe house basically and then once you do enough stuff then the, the boss unlocks and then you have to kill them. I think that's the loop of it. The death loop. That's an arcane pun there if you didn't know. So I don't know we see what these bosses that that enemy that I just fought that siphon guy was pretty cool. Uh, they absolutely destroyed me but I mean, if, if there's if there's good enemy variety, then... What are you? You're a tree. Okay, that's good. Is this where I need to go? Oh, yeah, it's pretty close. Now, how do we get in here is the question. The game just can't run at a steady frame rate. It just makes your experience so much worse. Okay, so I assume... Maybe I have to climb up onto this tree. Ah. Ah. Under the bed. There's a tiny, tiny bug underneath your skin. It crinkles and itches and it tickles your chin. It crawls so fast as it whines and cries, pecking at your brain right behind your eyes. Why do you cry? You ask it so nice. It wails in response once, then twice. I'm just so hungry, he shouts and moans, and I'm too tiny. And I'm too tiny to eat all your bones. There's a tiny, whiny bug underneath your skin. It crinkles and itches and tickles your chin. There you go. A little nursery rhyme. About a monster under your bed. Under the bed. Home, home, home. Home, home, home. Your mother always sings. Home, home, home. Okay, that, but that one's not as good. Were filmed at night. Also, I don't think there's any anything to write home about with the characters. But I don't really think that's an issue. I don't think a game like this needs characters. Good characters. Nor do I think... I, I saw some people complain about the skill tree, but skill trees... I always find that a skill tree can be pretty basic, just like incremental upgrades. But everything else around it has to be fun. As in, if the combat feels really good to play, then having a skill tree that's just like plus 10% damage, plus 6% reload speed, uh, is fine because... The combat is fun, so then you can start to build out some fun builds with just the combat, if you get me. And then that, that just kind of gives you a, a tiny little bit extra. I assume there's going to be a vampire somewhere around here. Oh, a new handgun. Oh, cool. Shade tree killer. Can I actually do anything to him, I wonder? I don't know if I'm, like, completely out of my depth trying to fight him, but I'll just do this. I mean, he can't really seem to uh, attack me <laughs> past this, uh... Past this fucking stairs so i'm just gonna stay here and just keep shooting them and hope that yeah i don't know this might eventually like stun them or something i'm really not sure i oh, know he's siphoning me do you know what i need my flare gun oh shit i forgot this game is actually always online so i don't know if you can actually pause the game or not okay we're dealing good damage to him here I mean, the AI, yeah, okay, the AI really isn't great. Like, it really isn't great. Okay. Nothing can stop me. That was the first 
I don't know, is he a boss or is he just a mini boss? Whatever he was. Ooh, cool weapon at least. Oh no, it's not. Oh, it's a stake launcher, cool. So I assume that's obviously going to be very good against uh, vampires. Whatever he was, whether or not he was a full boss or a mini boss, his AI wasn't good and he wasn't difficult. I leveled up though and completed the first safe house. Missions, skills. Uh, I actually think I really like upgrading the uh, the stake. I think the stake is my favorite. Uh, what's that? Electrical pulse range increases. Uh, you and allies in range of the arc deal additional electricity damage. Okay. Any hit? Okay, required level four. Well, I am level four. Oh, I need two skill points for it. Okay. Uh, the escape doesn't work, which I don't understand. Stake launcher. Okay, well, there's one safe house done. I want to go back to that place where I died and see what's going on there. I thought there was limited inventory space, but by the look of it... I seem to have unlimited, uh, like, gun slots that I can carry, which is cool. Okay, let's try out this steak launcher. I don't know, I, I, I assume you have an increased chance of uh, encountering vampires at night. That would be my guess anyway, because uh, that would just make a lot of sense, really. But... And maybe they, they deal more damage. I mean, that's something that Dying Light does really well. I actually think Dying Light has... Arguably the best sort of... Like, nighttime mechanic. Because the zombies in Dying Light at nighttime are actually, like, genuinely horrifying. And can kill you very quickly. Like, even Minecraft and Terraria and stuff do it well. But eventually... You kind of get really powerful and then you learn how to deal with all the, the mobs so it actually doesn't make that much of a difference. Okay, so there's a lot of vampires over here. So we need to get my vampire killing weapons out. So I think I'll get rid of that shotgun and we'll equip you. And we should be able to absolutely destroy the vampires here. Okay, we'll add you to the map. Okay, so that's a fast travel point as well. Let's see what the stake uh, launcher's like. Well, you're not a stake launcher, so it doesn't matter. Do I even need a stake launcher? No, I don't think so. I can deal quite a bit of damage to these guys already. Yeah. Let's see what the stake launcher's like against them. I wonder, does it actually deal much damage or should... Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, it does. How don't you see me? Oh shit, the stake launcher like literally one shot. Okay, well that's cool. Oh, it takes literally about 20 years to reload though. Okay, I can see why it's so powerful then. You also don't have that many ammo, or you don't have much ammo with it. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it'll probably be quite OP if you had a lot of ammo and you could rapid fire it. I knew I could hear you, you vampire. Go. Cool. Again, I just don't... I just don't think... Oh, a watcher, what are you? Run! Heal! Oh shit, I died again. Okay, that place is tough. Yeah, I just... The weapons just slowly unravel i mean this stake launcher is a cool weapon because of how much damage it deals but other than that it doesn't feel good you know why are these hollowed people here now is that watcher still up there he is or is he just okay cool 
So do you know what, Mr. Watcher Man? You are just going to get a couple of flares to the back. They are actually a cool... Like, they're a cool enemy, like. Yeah, look, they're just like gargoyles. Just like fucking sitting, waiting for you. Don't you worry, I'm not nervous. You believe in your little heart, you can Whoa, you fecker. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I am a bit nervous. <laughs> How disappointing. Oh, uh, it's going to happen at some point. If I play any game that's even slightly scary, I'm going to get jump scared at some point. I just say it's cheap, uh, cheap horror design and not to do with me being a little bitch. Oh, yes. Good AI there. Very good AI. This gun feels fucking dreadful to shoot. Oh, I... Accidentally vaulted. I fucking dodged it. Okay, is everybody dead here now? Fucking hope so. There's a lot of enemies. It's better this way. I know what I'm supposed to do. There's just no feet. It's like fucking shooting a laser beam. That is no bueno. No bueno whatsoever. Okay, if you were the feckin' thing that you need to break, where would you be? You do a good job of obscuring it with that. Okay, well, we've... So that's just a fast travel site. So then let's fast travel back to the main thing. I don't have any side missions to do, so we'll just go back to the main base and see what, what the story is here. Ammo resupply. Is this oh. texture gonna load in? I mean, that's just what the texture looks like in a, a medium settings or whatever I'm playing it on. Uh, open backpack. Okay, I have a lot of crap to sell. Can I like... I don't know if there's a way to mark it all. Why is it G to sell? And why is... Why does it say salvage? I'm not sell. That really confused me at the start. So I want to keep my stake launcher, at the very least. Get rid of all these. Like, I'm literally not going to use any of these weapons. I don't know why games insist on giving you these feckin' things. Just, like, 20 different weapons. Okay, what sniper was I using? I, I don't think I was using that one. I think I was using that one. 99... 82. Get rid of you, I guess. Uh, get rid of you. Okay. I think they're all the weapons that I use. And I will use. Okay, so what's going on around here? What do we have to do in the Hello. wonderful world of Redfall? Take care of too. I assume down here is a side quest. Fix me. A note scribbled, uh, dear anyone who might have a moment, fix this thing, might cheer us all up. Okay, so we have to fix a popcorn machine. This old popcorn machine would bring some cheer. Find the popcorn money. machine repair kit. That's a very specific, that's a very specific item. All right, Terrence. Pardon? I, yes. Oh, Main mission. Okay, grave situation. Dr. Hunt would like his father's watch to be placed by his mother's graveside. What what is this do? Choose the next mission you would like to accept. Can only have one active at a time. It cannot repeat the missions. Okay. Uh do you know what we'll do the graveside one? Let's see. My mother died five years ago. And then all of the stuff, all of the uh cutscenes and story bits are basically these sort of I'm glad she's not here to see what I don't know. To Redfall. She loves uh, single frame cutscenes. 
But a month ago, he disappeared. I can only think that those monsters took him. But yeah, okay, I that's good. I don't, I, I really, I, I don't care. I think this is going to uh, go very similarly to the Dead Island stream, the original Dead Island stream, where I play for as long as I physically possibly can, and then I get fed up and turn the game off. We shall see. Okay, we'll do the side mission first. Let's get the popcorn. Okay, oh, they're right. Oh, they're both down here. Okay, so we get the popcorn machine first. And we shall see what, uh, what, what we have in store. So, I don't want to have my flare gun equipped. I think what I want is the shotgun. And then I don't want the state gun yet either. We'll go with you. So, I have my weapon sword. One, two, three... And there's the frame rate. Okay, that's good. <laughs> oh, I need someone to entertain me while I play this. I got you. Like that's I don't know, that is just Like what like I don't know. They're just literally running at me in a straight line. And they have like a, a one dodge and that's it. Like the Watcher enemies are cool and the Siphon enemies are cool. But I mean the normal vampires and the normal like whatever they, they feckin' cold are are just... They just ain't it. I'd be interested to try this out on Series S, but I don't have Game Pass. I haven't really launched my Series S in quite a while. And to be honest, I don't think... I don't think I want to give the money for this. Like, to even attempt it. Customs House. Or the... No, the Custom House. Oh, God. The frame rate just keeps... It gets very bad getting into the new areas. Be very, very curious. Since I've heard that, like, kind of seamless co-op is very CPU intensive, I'd be very interested to see what would happen if I was playing with a few people. What way the frame rate would go. Because it's already pretty rough. That could be a good spot for a safe house. Okay, now I need to follow these wires. Oh! That was a very easy safe house. <laughs> Maybe? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, that, that, that was like... That was worse than the easiest fucking Far Cry, uh... The easiest Far Cry safe house or... Fuck it, I don't know. Tell you one thing, I was trying to review this game for Game Explain, and I am so glad that I didn't because that means I would have had to play it. At least with my own channel, I can, you know, I can do what I want basically. And I'm sure with Game Explain, if a game is absolutely broken, then I wouldn't have to finish it. But with a game that's just bad, I think I would have to finish it, unfortunately. So, maybe was it a blessing in disguise? Especially because I probably would have played it. Oh, actually, no. I think, I think the review codes they gave out was, were only on PC. I think. And also, the previews that people went and played were also on PC. And they ran at 60 FPS during the previews. Which... I ain't gonna say there was anything bad going on there, but maybe there was. Yeah, let's go in here. Who do you 
That sounded like Crash Bandicoot there. They bleep. Okay, what am I in here? Is this a coffee shop? No. A liquor store? No, it's like a fucking fancy supplement shop or something, like a Holland and Barrett or something, but really fancy. And old timey. Why does this place look so old? Okay, so we're here at an antenna, which I need to, I don't know, I need to climb up some building. I could just use my translocator. I keep forgetting to use my abilities, to be honest. To be real. Okay, triangulate the signal. And then the second antenna is all the way over there. Which I will go get now. Can I, like, stick to the roof, I wonder? Let's see. I think with the triangulator, the triangulator majigger, I probably can. Yeah. I wonder what the fall damage is like. Do I want to test it? Okay, so you can drop from at least like... Okay, that's not too bad. What game was I playing? Oh, I think it was Dead Island 2. Was it Dead Island 2? Where the... F oh my god. Where the fall damage was brutal. How close can I get to this lad with him seeing me? Something over there. <laughs> Kick them all up the arse. Kick them all? Yeah, you kicked one person. He just... Who'd have ever thought they had friends? Did he just respawn behind me? Or... Let's see. I don't know if he was there and he just so happened... To be in the... Oh, no, no. I think he came. Okay, cool. <laughs> I thought maybe he literally just spawned as I walked away. And I killed him. And then he respawned. But no. Okay, let's see. What, what do we have here? You have to triangulate this source. Before, whenever I do get fed up with this game, I do want to try out. Let's actually see. Do you know what? I'm gonna run the game whenever whenever I kill these enemies I'll go in. Like there's just absolute like there's no urgency in this combat whatsoever. No nothing. You don't have to be strategic whatsoever. Maybe against the vampires you do. But against these humans, not a hope. Let's actually see here, okay? I'm gonna run the game at... Can, can I lock this at 30 FPS? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Not true this, I'm sure I can other ways, but... Turn off V-Sync, does that uh, fix anything? I need to get... Oh! Can I, like... Can I disarm these? I can, but it's probably not worth it to be honest. People told me it was a disease. A disease in the blood. I didn't have it, but family did. Killed all of them. I couldn't save none. Disable the source of the signal. Which is... Oh, it's literally in the popcorn machine building. Okay. I'm glad I did that first. Killed two birds with the one stone. I actually think the first quest in this game was called that. Why can't I place the pin? Oh, I'd like an old ice cream, to be honest. It's been quite warm over here. It's been like fucking 15 degrees the past couple of days. 15 degrees Celsius for any Americans watch. Which is quite hot for over here in May. It shouldn't be this hot. Global warming is definitely a thing. Okay, now how the fuck do I get into here? Is 
Is it this big building here? Yes, okay. So we need to figure out how to get in. Now let's see, does the arcaneness hold up? Because this is where I kind of get excited, see? They kind of advertise this game as like Far Cry. Which, I do like Far Cry games. But with like arcane, kind of, you know, an arcane Far Cry game. Which sounds brilliant to me. Oh, Jesus Christ, this frame rate. Okay, just... Just for the sake of my PC being shit or something, okay? Now, this is gonna look awful. Absolutely awful, okay? What we're going to do is... I'm going to turn this on. FSR. Performance. Ultra performance mode. Ah, Sora. Hello. Welcome to the stream. I am currently suffering through this game. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything to say about it because I'm just, I'm just not enjoying it. Like, it's as simple as that. I'm very, I'm struggling here because, firstly, I just turned this on FSR Ultra Performance Mode because I just wanted to see, can I get this running at a stable frame rate on everything on love? But, uh, Sora, what are you playing it on? I think, I believe you're new to the stream, so welcome. And if you're not, I apologize. But welcome to the stream. And, uh... What are you playing it on? I'm currently playing this on my PC. And I just can't seem to get it running at 60 FPS. And it just... I'm no PC... I'm no PC, man. You know, I'm not all about these... Frame rates and... Feckin', well, no, I'm all about frame rate. I used to be a PC gamer. But it's been a while, so I'm, I'm out of the loop. I cannot get this game running. Yeah, uh, what, I'm curious, uh, Sora. First, he actually saw it. I asked everybody this when they joined the stream. What's your favorite game of all time? Mine's Majora's Mask. I just, I, I need to get that. We need to get that established before we, uh, before we talk. Because you, you might come in here and say, you know, Assassin's Creed 1 or something. And then, you know, I don't like, you know. Can't, can't be dealing with people. I think Assassin's Creed is a good game. But uh, what are your specs as well? Because, so I have a Ryzen 5800 something. Or I don't fucking know. Some, some processor. That's a good, like, it's a good processor. Now, it's old-ish. I bought this PC a year and a half ago. And I have a 6600 XT graphics card. And, like, I'm running this on low settings right now. I have it on low settings. AMD FSR Ultra Performance Mode. And it's struggling to hold 60 FPS. Yeah, so you have a 3060 Ti. So I think the 6600 XT... Is on par with the 3060, I think. I think that's the level that I have. And yeah, Skyrim, I'll, I'll allow that. Skyrim's a good choice. Skyrim's a very good game. I really enjoy Skyrim. Kind of wish I was playing Skyrim now, to be honest. Okay, let's put it on to medium. With FSR on balance mode. Oh, that looks awful. See, and then you just get to the stage where the game just looks bad because you're playing, you have to play it on FSR. Do you know, uh, uh, Sora, do you know if Game Pass, like, is, is Game Pass PC a good service? Like, do people give out about the Game Pass, uh, do people give out about Game Pass being... Like, the Game Pass PC version being, like, a bad way to play the game. Uh, well, Sora, if you do want to join, you can join. Now, I don't know how much longer I have streaming. But if you want to join, you can join. Because I want to actually test out the co-op. That would actually be much appreciated. Because I want to make a video on this in a bit. So, if you don't know, Sora, I review games. I stream games. How I do... How I, my whole channel is, I stream a game... Uh, I stream I stream games like the first couple of hours give my impressions on games that I'm potentially not going to review and then I just upload reviews as normal and then I also freelance for a channel called Game Explain if you've ever heard of them they're a Nintendo based channel so I freelance review for them but if uh, I mean if if you're around right now I would like to you know give give it a good hour on, on multiplayer now I'm streaming so I don't think I'll be able to do voice chat but yeah you're welcome to join Again, how how you go about adding me, I don't have a feckin' clue. 
You're gonna have to help me there. I'm looking for a popcorn machine. Uh, my user, my user. Let me see. Uh, it says, so my user is There, that's that. I think that's my username there. Because I want to actually see what the co op is. Oh, the popcorn machine repair kit is probably behind. Okay. I assume. Sora, are you a, a witch? Sora, witch? Okay. Okay, just give me about five minutes here trying to figure this out because I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of an idiot. I said you sent a friend request. Yes, follow. Okay, cool. And then I assume I let you just game. Okay, there. So I have it on my friends list now. Windows G, and then game. Oh wait, maybe I have to do it through the game. Uh, map, missions, archive, settings. No. Do I have to click out friends? We're almost there, okay. Invite player, return to lobby to invite friends. Oh, are you serious? I thought this was seamless. Okay. Sora, for everybody that just joined, we are going to me and Sora here. Oh, the game has crashed. Trying to go back to the menu. So there we go. That's a good start. So for anybody that's just joined, me and Sora. Oh no, I just launched the last case of Benedict Fox. Oh no, now I have two games running. Oh no, my PC is going to blow up. Okay. So for anybody that's just joined, me and Sora are going to test out the co-op here. And hopefully, it'll go pretty well. Maybe. It might tank the frame rate. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. This will be an interesting experiment. I appreciate. Yeah. The game crashed from me quitting to the menu. Okay. Sora, before I before you join my lobby, I just need to go pee. And yes, I'll be back in a minute or so. Okay, I am back. Let's uh, let's get Redfold. Okay, host game. Invite player. Okay, now this is getting messed up. My screen. Okay, there we go. Okay, Sora is online. Welcome. Just want to pull up the chat here. Get everything set up. Welcome to the lobby, Sora. Sora, who are you playing? Oh, I'm two hours in, exactly. I'm four... 
I'm 14% through the main store. Ooh, that's, that's pretty short. Confirm hero slash back. Okay, Sora is ready. Uh, uh, squad not ready. But like, but, but I am ready though. Okay. This is a... Uh, no. I don't want to do any... Okay. Select... Oh, okay. No, sorry. I'm an idiot. There we go. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, Sora, we need to find a popcorn machine or something. That's what I need to do. I appreciate you testing this out with me. This could go absolutely awfully, or it could make the game so much more fun. Sora, are you a Kingdom Hearts fan? Or is your name just coincidentally Sora? Okay, where is Sora? There is Sora. Can we emote or anything? Okay, let me... Okay, I have all my weapons sorted out. We need to dip all the way over here. Oh, we can fast travel to this safe house. Okay, let's see. Let's see how fast travel works. Do you come with me? Oh, it just happens to be a coincidence, really. <laughs> that's That's very interesting. Okay, so do you... Yeah, okay. So you come with me when we fast travel. Makes sense. So we need to go get the popcorn machine. Oh, do I really... Wait, sorry. Sorry, wait. Oh, my God. So, Sora, I was in the middle of a mission there. That's very... That's very annoying. I was in the middle of this mission, the triangulation mission. I had already triangulated the two... Uh, the two dishes and... Now I have to go do that again because I left mid-mission. Or maybe because it crashed. Okay, we go to these two yellow markers first to get the antennas. Oh, we got a vampire. Oh, we got a few vampires. Okay, well, oh crap, I'm all out of... of uh, I can't land the shot. Putting that down to the frame rate. Oh god. This vampire was standing still looking at me. I suppose. Okay, so you grant, so they kind of want you to, uh. Let's split up, gang. For real, though. They want you to stick together. Okay. Now, how is this gonna work? Can I land this here? Is that gonna land where I wanted to land? No. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so well, I don't, I don't think it's having any real effect on the game so far. I was kind of expecting like some performance, more performance issues or something, or just something like that. Okay, I should be able to just uh, translocate over there. Can you use that as well? Okay. Okay, so now we have to go... Oh, it's actually different. Well, firstly, what we'll do is... Sora, we will go and... We will get the popcorn machine. So we go to that blue ping. I really thought shooting his back would blow him up. Okay, I need to go over here and pick up some ammo because I've no assault rifle ammo. Oh, 
where's a person that we a civilian? Wait, you're storing another person around? Shit, I'm almost dead here. <laughs> I'm just running into the fire. Okay, let's go find that popcorn machine. Oh, way better. See, I would assume that the that the popcorn stuff would be around here somewhere. Ah, uh, no, definitely in the basement. I see you. I think maybe it might be down here. Freezer is back there. Maybe it's in there. I think it might be. It's gonna be my guess anyway. Oh, popcorn repair kit! Woohoo! I can help with that. Okay, so we have the popcorn machine, so now we have to go here somewhere and find something. Let me actually read the quest mission. Okay, so we have that. Disable the source of the signal. Okay, so that's what we have to go do next. Have you, uh... Sora, I'm not sure if you are still in... It's, you're still listening, but uh, are you... Are you an Arcane fan? Have you played uh, any other like Dishonored or Deathloop or Prey or anything? Any of that? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Nah, not many. See that? That's the problem. The Arcane games are all the other Arcane games are really good, but very few people actually play them. So that's why I think they started to kind of make something like this. <laughs> so that more people would play it. They really don't try very hard, do they? You just... Found the thing. Okay, so now I believe when we move, when we go. Oh. I also have this uh, mission here as well to do. We have the sort of main mission, I guess. Let me actually read. Let's see. Missions. Grave situation. Fix the popcorn machine. Okay, cool. So we're going to the main mission. Do you know, actually, uh, if any of this progress carries over for you? Or is it only the progress in my game that counts? Yeah, yeah, the shotgun, yeah, the first shotgun looks really cool. It has, like, has, like, cool barnacles or something on it, but, uh... Let's get moving. Yeah, it's pretty annoying that, like, I'm literally... I don't know, like, I, I don't know, I don't know why they're, uh... 
I don't know why they're uh, why it's struggling so so hard. I really wonder if sort of this was a uh, Microsoft telling them you have to get this game out. Basically, wasn't this game supposed to come out last year as well? What sort of a, what sort of like state would this game be in if it came out last year? If it's in this bad a state now. And I think I also think like the shot the shotgun feels like it like it's a decent weapon. The melee is absolutely useless though. Our trust is now strength and sorrow, whatever the fuck that means. Yeah, that's what it'd be like. One of them mobile games you see an ad on TikTok. It's like, do you know how to survive in Redfall? And they're like very clearly reading off a script. Uh let me read the mission here. Uh, deliver the watch to the grave. Ah, Ryland, welcome. Rich or famous or. I am uh, currently playing Redfall and I'm not really enjoying it. But luckily, Sora joined the chat, who was new, and all about the game. So I'm testing out the multiplayer to see if it actually works. Uh, it does. The game itself only slightly works. Uh. Oh, the gravestone's over here. <laughs> I thought it was there. Yeah, they really do. Nick, welcome to the stream. I don't know if you were there, but I'm playing with uh, Sora, who's in the chat, because I wanted to test out the multiplayer. Uh, yeah, they, they do. Hi-Fi like, Hi Rush is a very, very good game. Uh, way better than anything else that... Uh, that they've made and it was just complete random just complete random drop okay safe house missions so i believe we need to go back to the safe house here sorry uh good morning rylan uh i just think see i think this game this game is a bit harder because i don't know exactly i think this game was pre-acquisition uh so this game was definitely out of, or I'm, I'm almost certain this game was in development pre-acquisition. Oh, <laughs> that's standard. So the amount of times, like the, the the little tutorial menu won't go away for me as well. It's it's pretty pretty rough, but I think this game started pre-acquisition. So, uh, but I wonder, is I wonder was this game? I was saying it there, Nick. Where? Microsoft are obviously like like Microsoft are in a bad way now. They need they need games to come out because games simply aren't coming out like so far they've had what? Uh Halo Infinite, which was fun. I actually really like Halo Infinite, but it was a flop. Uh it's obviously improving, but the start like the, the first impression was just so bad. And then they have uh I'm trying to even think. Do they, did they have they released a Forza game yet on the Xbox? They have. Uh, Forza was good. They haven't released the Gears game. They released Hi-Fi Rush, which was very good. But like, there's just not like there's no big games coming out for it. And realistically, that's what that's what people like. That's what people need when when you buy a console, you want new games. You want the new Xbox game that they're marketing really hard. But I wonder if this was a we need to release games. This game is coming out in May. If it doesn't come out in May, then that's it. You're done. And uh, that does seem to be what happened. And this is the result. Okay, Sora, we have to go kill one of the vampire underbosses. Have you killed one of these before? I don't know, Sora, if you were in the stream when I killed the first one. But I basically stood behind the stairs and his AI couldn't figure out how to get to me. So all I did was shoot him and he died very quickly. So I think an L flare gun will be good to use. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have to see, so we'll see uh what what the what the uh what the AI is like on this guy.
I have a couple of skill points to put in here. Yeah, sorry, it's capped at 30 FPS on console. Apparently their excuse is that it's very CPU limited. Because having this seamless co-op where people could be on one end of the map, like could be on either end of the map in the same thing, can cause issues with the CPU. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know enough about tech to, to say if that's true or not, but... Uh, I want a reason to get Game Pass Xbox, but compared to Sony and Nintendo, they haven't given me a reason. I hate to see flop after flop for them, but they really need games. Yeah, me too. Like, I, like... I'm not one of these people, I, as I said at the start of the stream, I, I just want to find the fun in games. Like, I really do. I just want to play fun games, have fun, and that's just what my whole channel is about. And unfortunately, I bought a Series S. I bought a Series S because I had never played Xbox before. So with Game Pass, I then had all, like, you know, all the old Halos and Gears. But then once all of them came, once I was done with all of them, it's like... I don't, I don't have a Game Pass subscription. The only reason I have a Game Pass PC subscription is because I got a code from Keymailer from it. So it was free. So that's the only reason I have this. Yeah, like, it, it's... Xbox have a great backwards compatibility, like, a backwards compatible library. Like, probably the best... Like, well, definitely the best out of all the three main platform holders. But, like, at the end of the day, having old games can only do so much where... You need these games to hit. Like, imagine this game was... Imagine this game was on the same level as Borderlands 2, or even Dead Island 2. Like, I love... Dead Island 2 was great. Oh, there's the curator up there. You ready for this? Get him with the stake! Oh, I missed him. Oh, he's almost dead. Oh, shit, there's all these feckers around as well. Do I have my ultimate? Oh, I don't have my ultimate bound. Feck. No! I can't use it! <laughs> I need to buy my ultimate. Okay, where's that fecker gone? Currently running at maybe like, what? 35 frames a second? Like, anytime you try to inject some speed into your gameplay, the game just falls off a cliff. Did he go up here onto the roof? Oh, loads of vampires, loads of vampires. Oh, he's on the roof here. Okay, I'll, I'll stun him. Punch him. Punch him. Bop. Okay, so that was a mini boss, everybody. That's a mini boss fight in in uh, Redfall. Now, Sora, will will the will the mission complete screen disappear for you? Our, tr our trust keeps strengthening. I leveled up again. I do like the font on the level up. Uh, Steph, this... Or, uh, Nick, I keep calling you Steph. Uh, but, uh, Nick, you're... Uh, no, this game does not compare to Borderlands in any way. The loot doesn't seem to be as interesting. The gunplay is... At the start of the stream, I said the gunplay was okay, but I'm going as far as to say the gunplay is actually pretty bad. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if it is always online. I think it is, Nick. And the reason why is because when I started it up, I had to log into my feckin' uh, Bethesda account, so... That's... Yeah. And also, Nick, I'm currently running this on my PC. Uh... That should be more than capable. I'm running this at 1080p, not 1440p. On medium with FSR on quality mode. And I can't get a consistent frame rate. Even having everything on low with FSR on ultra performance mode, it doesn't hold 60 FPS. So. Okay, what, are, what missions do we have? Regroup. Fix the popcorn machine. Okay, back to the fire station. Apologies, Sora, if I'm... Uh, on my screen, when you walk, it's like your feet don't leave the ground. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually going to look at, at the, the walk animations now, now that you mention it. Okay. This texture doesn't want to load in either. Does this texture load in on the floor for you, Sora? Uh, 
Uh, is it saying I have no weapons? Why can't I sell anything? Okay. None of my weapons are showing up on the uh, on the shop. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Hello, hello. Wait, how do I? F I have to fix it. Where's the popcorn machine? But as I've said about three or four times on this stream, and I'm sure some people who have been the whole, here the whole time uh, have said, or I, I've said this multiple times, that the same time. what you this game is right up my alley. You, you can't make a more Adam game. A co-op, open world shooter. Thank you, Sora. But I'm just not having fun. You make popcorn! I honestly only think people will be talking about this game by the end of this week. I can't see myself finishing this game. I can see myself streaming this this morning. Maybe playing another hour or two. Making a video and then leaving it at that. I, I, I seriously, I'm going to try. I'm going to try be... Well, I'm, I'm really not going to force myself to beat the game because I don't want to do that with this channel. That's... That's just not what I want to do. Okay, we're going to go to Avium Therapeutics. Giving you tomorrow. That's where we're going, Sora. I don't want to watch this. I'm not watching the feckin'. I don't care. So, like, see, this is the problem. So here's something with open world games. If I find myself wanting to fast travel everywhere within the first two hours of the game, that's not a good showing because it means... That, uh, I'm gonna be... I just... Yeah, I just have no interest. Okay, hey. well, find Joe's brother. Can I sell my weapons? No, I can't. I can't sell my weapons. It's... Uh, nothing's popping up. That's good. Like, I, I just want to fast travel. I don't even want to run out in the world and explore because it runs so poorly. Oh, I'm really... I'm seriously struggling. I'm seriously struggling to play this game. And I can only imagine how annoyed I would be if I paid money for it. Like, it's one thing if, if I paid, you know, 11 euro or whatever for a Game Pass subscription and I didn't like it. That's one thing. I, I, I couldn't care. But if I paid 60, 70 euro, whatever the feckin' price of this yoke is, and... This is what I got. I would not be very happy. Hi, dear. Okay. Is there even in-game? Is there even chat? I'm actually not sure. Like, in-game chat? No bother, Nick. Thanks for stopping by. Right. Enjoy your day. Heading to the Probably very early wherever you are right now. We're gonna drop everything. Let's see. Low. With no upscaling. Let's see what it looks like. I still can't get a consistent frame rate. It's so frustrating. Like if if the Series S and X can hold a solid 30, you're way you're way better off playing it on that than you are on this. Now, I'm sure there's going to be people with PCs that are like, Oh, well, the game runs fine for me, but like, well, it doesn't run fine for me. That's why... And I actually found it really, really... It was really bad, actually, I think. It, it looked really bad on him. So, Dr. Disrespect, I don't really watch streamers, but obviously I know what Dr. Disrespect is. But when Jedi fought, he played Jedi Survivor, and he... Obviously, think of Dr. Disrespect. He's a millionaire. He has... The best PC money can buy. 
he played Jedi Survivor and claimed that he had no uh, performance issues and that people that complain about games are... Uh, people that complain about games need to get a life. But, like, people are complaining about the games that don't run. They're not complaining about a game that's bad. They're complaining about a game that they spend 70, 80 euro on and it doesn't run and they're annoyed. Rightfully so. And then you have, like, the world's biggest streamer just telling people to shut up, basically. Because... You know, it ran fine for him, so it means it runs fine for everybody else. <laughs> they take so long to react. I could look at them, see the full animation, and then feckin' Sora could shoot them before anything happened. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is, Sora. Just staring competitions. They're like, oh, maybe... Maybe if we stand still, they won't shoot us. They're like, feckin' think we're T-Rexes or something. I don't think this is where I needed to go. What do I actually... Okay, missions. Search for avium film reel in the clinic. Okay, well, we went the complete wrong way, Sora. We need to go to the basement. Like I am like I am running a game on low at 1080p and it simply cannot run. Uh, basement. We need to find some stairs to go down. Maybe here? Yeah. Follow the blood. Like I don't even find myself bothering like looking around for stuff and loot. Take the stake. Just... That door's barricaded. Can we get in over top? Dusk. We can. Anything useful in here? No. Do I really care? No. <laughs> oh. It's such a shame. Such, such a shame. Oh, I found the film reel. Film canisters in hand. There might just be a cinema downtown that could play with. Oh, now we have to go back to the cinema. We just have to go back to the spot we just were, Sora. Literally just, we were there literally about five minutes ago. Oh, tremendous amount of blood. Where were they taking it? Suspicious, to say the least. Nope, not the way. This way. And then there's a door here, I believe, yes. I hope everybody watching this stream is having as much fun as I am playing it. And when it gets, like, when you get on the stream of games like this, it's so, like, when you're not, when you're not having fun playing a game, it's very difficult to, to make a stream even somewhat entertaining. Easy. Cinema's up ahead. I used to come here all the time. Ugh. I swear, if some cult has trashed it. You can basically kill every single enemy before they even react to you. If the frame rate was consistent. Because then you could do like snappy movements. Okay, I assume we have to go upstairs. And plug this into, into the projector. I was correct. Projector bulbs out. Bulb is burned out. Maybe there's a spare in the basement. Of course. That would have been too easy. I've already been in the in the basement of this. We were literally only here about ten minutes ago. In this exact same spot. Is 
there a bulb around here, maybe? I don't know why to keep their bulbs in the fridge. Or freezer. Oh no, it actually always shows you where it is. Oh, there's a lock crate over here. I also don't uh, really see much difference in the weapons. Like, that was a level 6 pistol, and I'm sure its stats are a lot better, but, like, my other pistols and my other weapons are still one-shotting the human enemies, so, you know? Right then, let's see what's so important about all this. Nope. Good job we fixed the popcorn machine. This is where it started, Amelia, wasn't it? Oh, it's literally just like an oil painting? And where I thought it had ended. Gateway sample test 9th, August 20th, 2021. Subject deceased. Exsanguination due to intravenous blood transfusion via heterochronic parabiosis. Two hours have passed since the procedure. I, 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 I. Just about. I think they're on Parasaur. I think the movie, the move, this fucking stop motion oil painting is just the same <laughs> frame rate as the game. David, the game is as good or as bad as you'd expect it to be. Uh, it is, this is a W, or this is an L, David. I am currently, okay, playing this game at low settings with no FSR on, because with FSR on, it looks awful with low settings, and I can't hold 60 FPS. And I am, Sora joined the chat, and he asked, can we test out the, the co-op together? So he's, I'm currently playing with him, or her, or whatever, and uh, he is also having an awful time trying to keep this at a consistent frame rate. This is not good, the gunplay is pretty rough, uh, the AI is absolutely, the first like mini boss David I fought was, I hid behind the stairs and he couldn't hit me. And then the AI on the human enemies, as Sora perfectly put, he said, uh, the, a the, the AI is basically playing uh, staring competitions with us because that's all they do. Uh, yeah. I mean, if the game ran at a consistent frame rate, maybe it would be a okay experience, but it's not even that, so it, it's not okay. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good whatsoever. I'm struggling. I'm struggling to play this game. I'm struggling to make this entertaining without just fucking devolving into, like, just moaning about the game, which I've done a lot. Uh, because, as I keep saying, I generally like to keep things positive here. I don't want games to fail. I really don't want games to fail. I want Arcane to do good, because a good Arcane makes good games. But unfortunately... This is what we have from Arcane. Deathloop and this. At least Deathloop ran well. I'll give them that. Yeah, well, David, apparently uh, Survivor got a patch on PC that improved the performance quite a bit. And that's going to roll out on the Xbox or on the consoles soon enough. And Tenebeds is going to come like literally a couple of days before Tears of the Kingdom. So I won't really be able to jump into it. Also, David, the loot system in this game seems pretty non-existent. All I pray for is that Tears of the Kingdom runs okay. I'm not expecting it to run great because it's on the Switch. 
I expect it, if it runs at the same level as what Breath of the Wild runs at, I will be okay with it. I'll be able to play it, but... Okay, Sora, are you ready for more riveting side missions and more riveting uh, bosses to kill? Because I am. I really am. Sora. Yeah. <laughs> Sora, I'm glad we're on the same wavelength here. I'm glad that we're both miserable playing this. <laughs> Oh. oh, vampires or bats. What is this? Okay, let's see. Let's go over here, Sora. This looks interesting. Okay, Sora, you should be able to take this and we should be able to get on this roof. Potentially? I actually don't know. I'm not sure if we're even supposed to be on this roof. Why are there, like... Why is... Like, what is this? It, like, showed... It sh showed... It showed something off. Okay, well, there's a vampire around here somewhere that we have to kill. Maybe. Oh, we can go in the house? No, we can't. Can we go in the house here? No. Eh. Uh. Oh. Sora's in combat. Ah, yeah. oh, you just broke the window. Breaking and entering. Uh, I don't really know what's happening here, to be honest. Take the stake! Yeah, actually, foe or, uh, not foe, uh, Royal. That would actually be good, I think, if we got a few people together to play Crash Team Rumble. Again, since it's on uh, since it's on stream, I won't be able to do voice, but, like, but we can all still join the same lobby and play together. Oh, here's a vampire. Is there even any like weapon? Like, like give give me a cool weapon for coming in here or a chest, please. That's all I ask for. Give me a kill weapon. Oh, it's just supplies. Okay. More supplies. So chat, what games are people playing? I need I need something to keep me entertained here. Regale me of all your games you're playing. Yeah, David, you're welcome to join. Yeah, well, I think Crash Team Rumble will probably be a good one to play. Because then we can start doing some strategies. I'll be, uh, I'll be the Dingo Dial man. And I'll just guard and then you just can all do your own thing. But it'd be it'd be helpful because it felt like, oh, blood bags are coming to feed. Oh, just do something to it. Blood bags. Oh no, I thought maybe we we might have been able to do something to that. Stop the blood bags from f from feeding the vampires. Uh. Sora, I think we are about as confused as each other here. Because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm also playing Final Fantasy 1, David. I'm about two hours in now. And Mario and Donkey Kong, as we were talking, David, is absolutely phenomenal.
David. Oh, look, look at the animation. David, if I know you said you're out on a walk, but you can see some of the enemy AI here if you want. They literally just walk in straight lines and take like one shot to the head. Like pretty much without fail, one shot to the head. The vampires are a bit harder. Oh shit, no, they're feeding on the bag. Are we supposed to let them feed? I actually don't know. What are these souls as well that they drop? We stopped them. Okay, the vampire is already dead. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a fucking mission. Oh... It doesn't help that the frame rate is so bad. It's so hard to fucking land the shot. Oh, uh... Sora looks like... Oh, no, no, there we go. It fixed. I thought uh, the mission complete thing. Yeah, it does. It, it's... Like, actually, now that you say that, okay, uh... David, I had more... Now, obviously, we were playing together, so we were on... We were talking to each other. We were chatting and stuff. But I've had more... I had more fun playing... Uh, playing Gotham Knights than I have playing this game. So that goes to show how much fun I'm having playing this game. We really had to dig deep there, Sora. That was a very difficult encounter, you know? So, so difficult. Them enemies were moving very fast. And there was a lot of them. I wonder if the enemies move so slow because they couldn't get more on the screen without, a, without their fucking game blowing up. Wait, why am I going here? What is it? What, like... Oh, we have to find Joel's brother. Help me! Anyone? Help me! Oh, there's a basement. Oh, we just got an achievement. Thank you, sorry. You just unlocked me an achievement. Yeah. I hated Gotham Knights. I absolutely hated it. At least Gotham Knights ran at a consistent 30 FPS, David. This game doesn't run at consistent 60. And there's no way to lock at the 30 without... I'm sure there's a way I can do it. Did we get him? Is this quest done now? Yes. Okay, we need to escape the house. You just missed me at point-blank range. Oh, yes. You run there, man. Look at this AI. Look at... Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just standing here strafing, and he doesn't know what to do. He can't hit me. He doesn't even know what... He can't fucking shoot. He just blinked through a gate. Oh, my God. Just for, for the six people that are sitting here watching this, don't say I don't do anything for you. Don't say that I don't... I put... It's saying escape the house. We've escaped the house. Okay, now we've escaped the house. Talk to Joe at the fire station. Uh, Jeff, Redfall. As I just said to David there, Jeff... I've had more I had more fun playing 
Gotham Knights than I did playing Redfall. And I don't know, Jeff, if you watched my tier list at the end of last year, but Gotham Knights got its own tier because it was that bad. Thank you, Sor Sorry, You're enduring it with me. I have to give you props as well. You're, you're sticking with it. You have no investment to stay here, you know? At least I, I have people watching. You can just leave whenever you want, but you still, you still choose to stick. Guess what, Sorry, We get to fight another vampire on the boss. Are you ready for this? Well, Jeff, that's for the better. Just don't install the game. Wait, has Sora even loaded in? Oh, wait, Sora. Oh, so you don't fast travel with me, do you? In that case. So what did you think? What did you think, Jeff? To be honest, Jeff, this guy maybe... Actually, Jeff, could you run it at a consistent frame rate? Yeah, it says you're outside as well. Sora. Wait, I'll come back out and then I'll load back in. Jeff, can you run this at a consistent frame rate? Because I can't. Oh, that's where Sora is. Okay, Sora. I'll, well, firstly, I'll just fast travel to the basement. Or we'll fast travel there. Uh, can you run this at a consistent frame rate, Jeff? Because I've tried everything. Now, I am streaming it off the same PC, so obviously that's going to take a certain amount of resources. But I have run it on low with FSR at ultra performance and it still can't hold 60. Oh, we're all over the place here, Sora. Oh. <laughs> See, I think my, my PC should be able to run it at, like at an acceptable level. Also, I can't sell weapons. My weapons aren't showing up in the shop. So I can't sell them. So I'm guessing we'll just not sell weapons. Let me actually look up, wait. Redfall spec requirements. Okay, so the recommended are Okay, so minimum, I blow the minimum out of the water. And then the recommended, like what's a Ryzen 2700X? So, okay, so the re I, I have better than the recommended, I believe as well. Even, yeah, like I almost, like I, I'm close enough to what the Ultra is as well. I have a 6600 XT and this is a 6800 XT. So that's for the Ultra. But I, like, I'm nowhere near getting that. I'm also running this at 1080p. I'm not even running it at 1440p. So... I don't know what that blood remnant... I don't know what them blood remnants do. Hello. Don't forget to take care of yourself, too. Oh, uh, you found them, huh? Shit. Guess we all lost someone out there, though. Guess we did lose someone out there. Very sad. Uh, what are you? Uh, allies in large area, bonus damage to vampires. Okay, that's a good one. I'll buy that. Okay, there we go. I've unlocked more skills. What the fucking do? Okay, now we have to start the next story mission. Oh, where do we want to go? I have 
Get him. Okay, yeah, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. I don't care. Dr. Hunt believes you delivered the watch. He wants to give you something in return. Get your reward from the trunk of Dr. Hunt's car. Okay, so we have to go all the way to Dr. H yeah, yeah, I do. I agree with you there, Jeff. I do like the setting. The setting is good. And vampires are cool. It's actually, it's it's not, you know, it's it's pretty rare that we get a vampire game, so. Okay, so where was that last safe house? Was it that safe house that I went to? Let us see. I think if we go to this safe house, Sora, we'll have to, we'll get to fight another underling boss or whatever the effect they're called. I don't know. Oh. Oh. But I really appreciate everybody here. It means a lot. Okay, we have to go kill a vampire underboss. Let's go. Woohoo. Yeah, the mouse input, I see, I can't tell, Jeff, if the mouse input feels weird or I'm just struggling to aim a bit at times because of the frame rate. For co-op. Well, so Salt and Sacrifice is the worst, David. Salt and Sacrifice was an app I hated that game. Gotham Knights I hated, and so far Redfall I also hate. But I think Gotham Knights I had the most fun with. And because at least with Gotham Knights, this, I, I, I don't know. They're all pretty bad. It's kind of like picking the best piece of shit off the ground, you know? <laughs> That's all it is. Oh, staring competition. Ooh, oh, you hit me. That's a pretty cool ability. I should have saved my ability. There he is. Let's get him, fellas. Okay, I'm just gonna beam him down. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna freeze him. Yeah, he, he's he's uh, frozen there. If you want to just punch him. Yeah. <laughs> That's a mini boss. It's a fucking mini boss, and all you do is just freeze him and punch him. Ah. Oh. We really struggled there. Really struggled big time. Let's go to Dr. Hunt's house. Like, and I have no desire to walk around here and loot this place. I just... No desire. The game does... I don't even know if the game has a crafting system, but if it does, it... It definitely doesn't need it because... I mean, I've barely swapped out weapons because every weapon is... Just seems to be good. Or fine, you know? Like, there's a quest in there. I don't even want it. They can keep the quest. Three sixty no scope. Nope. Is there a vampire around? Sounds like there's one in here, maybe. If you're enjoying me uh, playing this game, this riveting game, please give the stream a like. <laughs> Maybe fucking tell some of your friends to join and watch the stream. It's an awkward time to stream at, but I appreciate everybody that's watching. And uh, yeah, I'm trying my hardest. I'm trying my hardest. I want to give it a couple of hours. I think. I think I'd be. Now about three and a half, four hours into the game. Nah, probably, yeah, I'd say about three. Maybe three and a half. Maybe three, I don't know. I'm about that anyway. I played three hours and...
But it's such a shame. Like, the thing that annoys me the most is that when it comes to stuff like this, like, I'm very clearly a Sony fan, like a PlayStation fan. So, like... Like... It just feels like... Every single time I play an Xbox game, there's always just something just a bit off with it. Like, even the last case of Benedict Fox, which I actually enjoyed, it just wasn't 100% there. It's like, it's not a game that I wanted to play. Now, it's way better than this game. Oh, thanks, yeah. Jeff, it, get, it gets really... It gets better when you... It gets best when you alt F4 the game. But yeah, well, I've gotten that... I've gotten a few of them comments before where it's like, well, you know, we only put seven hours into the game if you put 25 you'd enjoy it it's like what why the fuck would i put 25 hours into a game that i don't enjoy the first seven off you know it doesn't make any sense i'm sure you get some people like oh well you only played uh redfall for four hours it's like, yeah but the four hours was fucking dreadful okay i that was a, like i don't fucking know i just don't fucking know like, and I've no interest. Like, we're literally just going here, fast traveling back, finishing a quest, going to do the quest, fast... Ugh. Oh. Just thought I'd tell you, this is a... This is the thought process. Uh, well, I'm sure most people go through it when they're playing a game that they don't want. But when... You're playing a pre-release game that you can't talk about, but it's awful and you don't want to finish it, but you have to finish it because you have to make a review on it. This is exactly, exactly how my brain goes. Can I sell weapons? I can't sell weapons. I still can't sell weapons. Oh, oh you don't have to sell them here. Okay, that's good. I thought maybe you only... So I could, I could sell them at all times... But the screen just wasn't working where I sell them. What are you? 28, 64. Rate of fire 10, rate of fire 10. Oh. I've only cleaned out my inventory, which is Thank good. You. Can I climb up this pole? No, that's not even a... Can I climb up this pole? Are you serious? Well, I mean, I'm guessing you can't really climb up a pole. Well, you can, but... It's a game about vampires. Why am I really trying to... Okay. He worked at a private lab in this hope. Let's go to this. Oh, Jesus, this game is making me fucking tired. About cryptids. I've been chasing them all my life. Like, I understand giving a game makes me realize that five can't always be hours. Seen. You know, upwards of five hours. It obviously depends on the length of the game. Like, apparently this game could be beaten in, like, 15 hours. So, by the fifth hour, you should have a good a good grasp of what the game's going to be like. Even by, like, the second or third. I don't think this game's going to change much. You know? The AI is still going to be shit. The gunplay is still going to be shit. It's not going to run at a consistent frame rate. So... That's enough for me. That's enough for me to put down a game, you know? But I will persevere for at least another couple of missions. Oh, hello. Because there's a good few people here watching this stream, so. Okay. If there's anything about how to stop it, it would be in there. Oh, we have vampire nests. Oh, I just spat everywhere. I'm just gonna fast travel. We'll go take down a vampire in Sora. There's some kind of psychokinetic disturbance here. I wonder if there's a. No, but again, I was interested in getting that game. I wanted to try it out. I still don't think uh, Rock A or Crime Boss Rock A City is uh, in on PlayStation yet, isn't it? Not. I could be wrong, but I don't think it is. Yep, yeah, I'm sure it will, Sora. You never know. We can hold out hope. Okay, Vampire Nest is... Over this way. Yeah, that that's weird, isn't it? 
for like a high budget game, I guess. I mean, they have like Chuck Norris and oh, Danny Trejo and all that, don't they? Oh, this actually... Okay, Sora, this encounter might actually be different. Oh, this is like... This is amazing. Oh! Some kind of collective consciousness. Sorry. Our Next. snark was wrong. This... Are, oh, and it's... Yes. I'm it's running at 60 FPS. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Whoa, maybe... They won't be needing that anymore. Maybe if the game was just these nests, it'd be good. God, Jesus Christ. It is actually crazy what a smooth frame rate does for a game. Gonna freeze him. Vampires in their natural habitat. Must tread carefully. Oh, these all drop. Oh, there's loads of ammo on these, on these like dead bodies. I want to actually equip you. Well, that means I have a stake weapon, so we could probably get rid of this, sh not use that shotgun then, because that's only level two. Still very strong, but. Okay, now where? There's a vampire somewhere. There's another vampire. Another dead vampire. Oh, this is like a double barrel shotgun. Okay. Oh. I feel sorry for the people that had to beat this game. I really do. Because I've been there, done that, and worn the t-shirt. Salt and sacrifice. Oh, and oh my god. This is literally just the cinema that we were in. We've been in this cinema like four times already. I also just don't use my abilities because it doesn't feel like I need to use them. Like, I'm never in a situation where I'm like, crap, I need to use my ability because blah, 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 blah. It's just, I don't use them because all you can just do is just shoot them. Uh, okay. Some sort of repository? A focal point? A heart? Heart. Okay, cool. Okay, so this potentially might have a small bit of difficulty to it. What I wonder is fuel the heart. Oh, one tether. Okay, so I say if you literally just sprint around, we just untether them all real quick then. Unless like now maybe a load of enemies spawn or something. Is this game serious? We fought five enemies. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, the exit's over here.
Well. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this game is rough. This is fucking rough. I I don't like I don't I I'm 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 at a loss for words about what I can say more about this game. That even as a game, so obviously as a reviewer, when you're talking about our games worth your money, blah blah blah, you have to take into account obviously money. It's a big like when you're talking about is a game good, but also you kind of have to take into account money because money and time are obviously two two resources that are very precious. And this game is on Game Pass, which means, firstly, this is 70, probably 80 euro over here. Maybe 70 euro. Regardless, it's a lot of money. If it is 70 or 80, it's still a lot of money. But this game is on Game Pass. So you have basically pretty much no money commitment, obviously. Like, you know, it's 13 euro a month plus all the other games you get. So this game doesn't even cost you 13 euro a month to play. Or whatever Game Pass is now. So I don't... I genuinely, when it comes to Game Pass games, most of the time you say, buy this game, or download it on Game Pass, if you have a Game Pass subscription. You know, you're not really missing out on anything. At most, you'll waste an hour of your life downloading it, pl playing it, and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. That's fine. You're still... Get Game... Like, you still have Game Pass. Your money isn't wasted. But this is a game that is 100 gigs that I don't even think is worth having space on your hard drive for and i don't even think it's worth trying out which i don't know like i i keep saying it but like i love i love arcane i love arcane and i'm so disappointed that this this is what arcane has turned into Like, this enemy has attacked us, like, once. Literally, like, once. I'm nearly dead here. Like, not only does this... Like, I keep going back to Jedi Survivor, but... At the very least, with Jedi Survivor... Uh... I don't, I, I, I can't play it because of how the frame rate runs. Hopefully it gets fixed soon. But I could see that that game is very good. <laughs> I was enjoying that game and I was disappointed that it ran badly. But with this game, I'm almost glad because it gives me one, one more excuse to put the game down. And I don't know. I'm just disappointed. I just want the good arcane game. I just want the play fucking Dishonored. I just want more Dishonored. Give me more Dishonored, please. Nah, see what they're gonna do, Jeff. They'll be like, surprise, fucking, I can't even get get it out. It was like, surprise, uh, Redfall has had 6 million players. It's like, yeah, how many people bought the game? It was fucking four. How many people enjoyed the game out with those millions that tried it? Two? I also can't turn on my, I can't turn on my uh, flashlight here. Don't ask me why. Maybe I'm not supposed to be able to turn it on. I really don't know. See, the funny thing is, this could potentially be cool. Like, because of the setting. Like, it's it's not something you see every day. I think we have to go into the next building over, maybe? Good. 
Uh, yep, there's a staring competition. There you go. Look at how long I could just look at them. Hello, guitar player. Welcome to the stream. Uh, you're missing out on a riveting game. A riveting game that everybody should definitely not play. I'm fucking going mad here playing this game. I've literally played this game for like four hours straight now. I played like half an hour before the stream. Maybe not, about 45 minutes before the stream. So about three, three and a half-ish, four hours, whatever I played. What's my favorite bad game? What is my favorite bad game? I can't even think of any games. Favorite bad game. Hmm. I'd really have to think. Because I'm struggling to even think of a bad game that I like. I know there's plenty of them. I mean, is Why would he need one in here? is Strangers of Paradise considered a bad game? Oh, oh, actually, there you go. Guitar player, Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 is my favorite Dark Souls game. And I can understand that that game is nowhere near as, as well designed as all the other Dark Souls games, but it's the Dark Souls game that got me into Dark Souls, and I love it, and I've played it so much. Do we really just have to go around this house looking for dolls? I can't even see anything. You, you probably can't even see anything on this stream. Because when it came to Dark Souls 2, I had already played Dark Souls 1, but it was way too hard for me. I was like 13, and I just couldn't get into it. And then when Dark Souls 2 came out, like a year or two later, it was a bit more seasoned. Because I gave up on Dark Souls 1 because of how hard it was. But then Dark Souls 2 was the one I really got into. And then when Scholar of the First Sin comes out... If you play Dark Souls 2 with just the Scholar of the First Sin edition, that's a good game. There's nothing we can do to stop you, is there? Fucking two shotgun bullets to the face. I wish I could see, but my torch isn't working. Like, I really cannot see where I'm going. So, Sora, I think you might have to do most of the looking here. Because I really can't see a thing. Like, who thinks this is good mission design? Find three tiny little dolls that are this size on the screen around a big, massive house. Okay, we're one doll. We're missing one, one more doll. That's all we need. Oh, Sora's through the floor. Okay. Sora's just zipping around the floor. <laughs> uh, oh, now he's floating midair. Eight people watching. Thank you very much, everybody. And if you are enjoying it, please give it a like, as I always say, and tell your friends about... Adzi gaming streams Charles. and reviews. It's his blood and his sister. You have to do all the marketing for me. Him 
Oh, my escape button. So, the T button isn't working. And the escape button isn't working either. My escape button is doing nothing. Sora, can you turn on your flashlight here, or is that just me? Yeah, it's making it nearly impossible. I think what I, I, I honestly think I'm just gonna have to go into the video and turn up the brightness if I can. Yeah, I just pop the brightness all the way up, it kind of a bit better. Oh, maybe is there. Is there oh, potentially maybe in here. Oh, half of my buttons aren't working. I can't crouch. What is going <laughs> All my buttons just aren't working. What the feck is going on? Maybe if I put it back to the... Okay, now crouch is working. Okay, well that's not a doll. I just don't feckin' this feckin' doll, where is it? Hmm. I think I just lagged there or something. Like, what fucking like, how is this the same studio that made Prey? What are they doing? Like, who decides... Let's make... A mission where you have to explore this... Mansion. And find dolls... That are tiny. And they're not even well highlighted either. And also, we'll have a glitch where your torch doesn't fucking work. I don't know. Oh, my game has crashed. <laughs> that means I'd have to start that whole mission again. Oh my god, this fucking game. What a terrible game. Uh... I think I'm done. <laughs> I don't think I can play this game anymore. <laughs> oh, that is fucking brilliant. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to end the stream there. That was a... Uh... 
I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, it means a lot that there was a lot of people here. This was a random stream as well, so it's good. And it's also early in the morning, too. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Do I recommend Redfall? No. Don't buy Redfall. Don't download Redfall. When it comes to Game Pass, usually I have very little... Uh, like reservations in recommending a game on Game Pass just to play it, but I wouldn't even bother downloading this game. Uh, I don't know what it. I don't know how it runs on Xbox. Apparently, from what I've heard, it runs smooth. Like it runs at a smooth thirty FPS. Here on PC, I cannot get this game to run at any consistent frame rate. Running it at low settings with FSR and ultra performance doesn't work. I understand I'm streaming from the same PC. But I should, at the very least, be able to hold 60 FPS uh, on low settings. I should be able to stream this game and play it at the same time. I should be able to. There's absolutely no doubt. So, I don't recommend this. Uh, don't download it. Don't play it. Arcane are on a very, very fast slope going downwards. They went from Dishonored to Prey. Dishonored 2. Deathloop. And then all the way down here with fucking Redfall. That game is bad. Gunplay is bad. Enemy AI is bad. Mission variety is bad. Level layout is... I mean, it, it's okay. It's actually... Do you know what? The, the, the levels... Like, the kind of world is fun to to run around in. And some of the buildings are nice and... Uh, are nice and... I don't know. Labyrinthian that you can explore. But when they have a mission design that's basically find these little tiny fucking dolls. And then your controls don't work because you can't turn on your torch. And then your crouch doesn't work so you can't crouch. And then you have to rebind it. But when you rebind your torch it doesn't work. You're, that mission was frustrating. And then the game crashed. Which means I would have to redo that mission all over again. So do I recommend this game? No. Don't buy it. Don't play it. Save your money. Save your time. Play something else. There's a new game coming out on Game Pass in a couple of days called Ravenlock. That looks like a cool 3D action adventure uh, game. So I'm actually going to be playing that. Because it looks good. Last Case of Benedict Fox as well. Pretty decent. I have a stream on that. Skip to the very end if you want to know what my thoughts are about it. But that game's pretty decent. That's a game that I would recommend you download and give it a try. And if you like it, you play it. But uh, yeah, this game now. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate Sora. Who joined in and helped me test out the, the co-op. He's also new to the stream. So thank you very much, Sora. And apologies for the game crashing. But, I mean, I can't do anything about that. Uh, Sora, if you play more of it, I feel sorry for you. Uh, and same with you, Jeff. I <laughs> wouldn't play this game. And whoever else was thinking about downloading it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will actually think I will do a video on this game. Because I want to talk about it. And uh, I'll see you all on the next stream and video. Which will probably be very soon. So goodbye.